Morning, mother people. Ah, oh, oh God, my nose is itching. <coughs> uh, so today I'm gonna be doing a Q and A like Brandon has done. I'm um, just kind of following his footsteps, just trying to like you know uh, move this, uh, get the momentum going. You know, uh, I still got my retainer on, so I can't speak this clearly. I'm gonna take them off, and we're gonna get started the Q and A. So what is all this? Is it a rice? Is it an epic people? This is really good. Can you use all of it? Just use all of it. Oh my god, we went through the- Ew, I don't want any basmati rice. You have basmati rice? That's not that bad actually. Wow, what's wrong with that? It's not Nepalese and Indian people. We're Nepalese, we're close enough, bro. Basmati is actually pretty good. Uh, I like sushi rice, I like this rice. Is something wrong with the water? Okay, so for some reason the water wasn't going cold. It's still not too bad. I just Alright, so I just tested the composition at last shot. Hopefully everything is looking fine, focused like wall framed in this frame of view for you guys hopefully composition looks like a mono beautiful and we're just gonna start that damn q a let's go all right so um all right so the first question we have is from paul carillo what inspired slash inspires you to make youtube videos and how do you stay motivated now, that's a good question actually so uh, what inspires me a lot is just watching other people on YouTube, you know, I watch a lot of different like um, uh, Vloggers or different like filmmakers and um, Of course JK films, you know, Joe, Bart, uh, the entire crew, David, Tiff and Case just <laughs> My sister, I'm sorry about that. Yo, can you be quiet for a sec? Hello? What? Can you be quiet for a second? Angela! Thank you. So yeah, like recently I've been like watching so many like different Korean vloggers or channels. I feel like the South Koreans have a way of like vlogging that's very um, natural and in like a different way. It's it's more soothing almost. It's very therapeutic to watch sometimes because it isn't like the flashy case nestet style vlog. It's more like a lotus flower that like blooms, you know. It, it's just very graceful and beautiful and simple, you know. I, I, something about that I love a lot. An example of this is Yoon Sun, isn't that does? He's a guy who I recently discovered, uh, like a few weeks ago on YouTube. He makes some amazing vlogs. He has like interesting reflections makes in his vlogs, and I find it very inspiring. And I kind of want to like you know build off from that and do something similar with my own twist to it. And that's also a reason why I started my vlogs on my other channel, my personal one, uh, Jamling Sherpa. It's the same one as my name on Facebook, Jamling Sherpa. So just go ahead and subscribe or follow that on Instagram if you want to. For how do I stay motivated? And to be honest, man, I've been so fucking lazy for the past three months. Like I, I barely create anything. And just now, ever since I moved back from my college dorm, I feel more compelled to create because I feel like I have not been like really putting my full potential out there. So I think that also another way to that I can answer your question is that I think. If you start to let go of the expectations you put yourself as a creator, sometimes I'd be like, oh, I want to do this because I want to get so many views or this many subscribers or I want to get to this this amount of growth. I think if you start to, if you like let go of that to a certain extent, I think that's where you start to have more fun. It starts to become more authentic and real, you know? Feel fake to the viewer. It feels real because it is real. When you feel the creativity flowing through you, when you feel like you're actually having fun making this stuff, 
that's when things start to happen. That's basically my answer for you, and I hope that helps you and anyone else who's trying to create something on YouTube. So yeah, um, on to the next question. Brandon Beasley, or French Brandon ass. Damn, Brandon, you're a fucking G. Stop. Stop, Angela. <laughs> Angela, what are you doing? Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Angela! Get the fuck out of here. Get that shit out of here. Stan BTS! <laughs> Not this ugly ass. Okay, uh, before is it really inter interrupted by my sister back there, Brandon, you got a lot of damn questions. Motherfucker, what the hell are you doing, bro? This is too many damn questions. Uh, shit, but, you know, I'm gonna try to answer all these questions, however long it takes, so, let's fucking go. First, do you believe that someone is evil? If so, what causes someone to be such a way? Are they born, born that way, or is it nurtured? I think that, um, I think it's something, I mean, it really depends, I feel like, because there's like people who are born with, like, I guess sociopathic or psychopathic tendencies or traits. I mean, this doesn't make this doesn't make them evil, but I guess it kind of like harbors like a breeding breeding like place for those uh, type of traits to like you know manifest and become more intense as they grow up. So maybe in that way that could be considered evil to some people's definitions. I'm not sure that's really mine, but to be honest, you know, whenever I watch a movie with that features a psychopath or a sociopath, like for example. Yesterday, I watched a movie called uh, Nightcrawler, which had uh, Jake Gyllenhaal, and he was basically portraying some sociopath, the classic sociopath or classic psychopath, and I felt fucking like, like really nasty vibes in my gut watching the movie. I'm like, oh fuck, that, that, I cannot, I don't know, something about those personalities I, that turns me off and like, or at least the way they portray in the film, it makes me feel fucking like, disgusted it makes me feel fucking scared and like i don't know something about that type of personality like really scares me to be honest i and if i ever encounter one in real life i'm gonna fucking dip man i'm gonna dip like like uh with a flash bro i'm gonna dip me like oh fuck bye have a good day goodbye i think in that way maybe yes but i think generally it's something that kind of has to be nurtured just it because like the the household you grew up in really like uh defines like how you become as a person like the parents the environment home environment the school environment all that stuff and all factors and contributes to who you are and how you grow up as a person that's that's my personal thoughts in that my personal opinion well next question from brandon is uh link to that first question would you kill baby hitler uh no because like i said before it really depends on the environment you're you're, you're from so I, f I feel like if that baby Hitler was born in a different like environment or in a different country or was maybe like imagine if it was Nepalese I feel like he wouldn't be that way so it really dep depends on the circumstances in my opinion and then the next question from Brandon is what do you believe is the meaning of our existence great question bro great existential question and I feel like in general like people kind of like form their own destiny like how you know naruto i love naruto bro fucking naruto man like that show basically embodies how i feel because i feel like your destiny is paved through through you and your actions and your own your own hard work and belief and where you want to go to and naruto he he even though he started out at the very bottom echelon of the entire ninja society he went and worked his butt off went through so many trials and tribulations and became Hokage in the end and had a sexy wife as Hinata, eh? <laughs> Damn, I mean Hinata, she's hella beautiful though. Yeah, I feel, I feel like it's something that can be forged by anyone. Like, anyone can decide their own destiny. It isn't something that's pre predetermined, in my opinion. Brandon also says, do you believe in a higher being? I kind of do, but I mean, not necessarily a god. I believe more in just the universe, you know? I believe that there's some cosmic force out there that is kind of like helping everyone in some way and is always watching over us. I mean, Buddhism generally doesn't have a god. <laughs> Shut up! So, for example, I'm Tibetan Buddhist and the Tibetans have a, have a lot of like shamanistic, um, I think, 
religions before and once it mixed in it kind of put the gods and de like spirits with it so would you have like kind of deities here with Tibetan deities so in 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 this sense yes we have gods so i kind of believe but at the same time i kind of don't so it's kind of a bit weird next question if you kill someone where would you hide the body i'd hide it in a black hole if i if i had the powers to do that i'd do that if you were cursed to hear a song non-stop even when you're asleep nothing you can do lower the volume or mute uh what song would you choose I think I'd choose either Washed by Dumbfounded or um, some song by this Korean artist named Suran or something. Sur I can't pronounce her name, I, I feel really bad. So either dumb some song by Dumbfounded, like Washed, or um, maybe even Rocket Man. So, oh, I love Dumbfounded, bro. Fucking Dumbfounded. Sick. Fucking music, bro. I love your music, Dumbfounded. Let's go. Woo! Next question from Brandon. If given the choice to save five innocent people, would you kill one innocent child? Uh, to be honest, man, I don't know if I have the guts to do that. I'd just probably like dip and be like, goodbye, fate is left to you. Because I'm, I'm too much of a pussy ass bitch to do that, bro. I can't kill someone, I'm just gonna run away. Fuck that shit. Uh, oh shit, the co oh, question continues. If not, what if this one death could have 50 people, but that child is one of your cousins? <laughs> I'll just dip anyway. Okay, how many sexual partners did you have? Zero. I've never had sex before. I'm 20 years old. I know that's kind of weird. Yeah, I've never had sex before. I also don't even know how to drive yet. So I'm learning this summer for how to drive. Sex, I don't know when that's going to happen. I mean, if it happens soon, happens soon. Whatever happens, happens, I guess. To be honest, I'd be down to have sex. Next question is, if you learn to have five days to live, how would you spend it? Man, I think I want to have sex, to be honest. Because I want to, like, you know, Make sure my legacy lives on. So that's what I probably do. Probably spend time with all my friends and family. Um, next question is What do you do in your life that gives you meaning? I mean, I create content on YouTube for myself because it's fun. So that gives me meaning. Um, the fact that I want to create stuff and that I get excitement from it, from it and brings me joy is what gives me meaning in life. So, and the potential for other things like meeting new people, meeting, probably possibly meeting JK hopefully in the future. Maybe even work for them, I don't know, just, that's what I'm thinking. But yeah, that, that would be dope though, if I could work for JK. <laughs> I don't know if it's possible, there's probably like a very low chance to be honest, because there's so, I know there's like thousands of people who send Joe emails about if they could intern or work for them, so. I don't even know if the fuck that's gonna happen at all. Um, but, yeah, you know. It's still a dream in my heart, but I don't know if it's gonna happen to be honest. Anyway, let's let's move on to the next question. Uh, do you believe in soulmates? I mean, I guess it depends on the definition of soulmate, but maybe I think I did back then, but now I think it just really depends on if you if you if you just really click with someone or not. So yeah, sometimes I, I like to think in my mind that I do. My mind, I secretly do, but realistically. I think that'd be a bit creepy because you're like, oh, you're my soulmate. We're meant to be together. That, that's just weird to think about. But my mind, I think that. But in reality, that's not how it really works, in my opinion. If you were a chicken in a slaughterhouse, what would you be your survival plan? Well, I would take a shit and run away. That's what I do. If you were convicted of a crime, what crime would be the most likely? Um... Well, for me, I think that'd be, I don't know, I don't, I, I can't really imagine. Maybe, maybe like driving too slow, because if I drive a car, I feel like I would drive too slow because I'd be fucking scared of the road. Shut up. You can't even drive. I say if I were to drive, God damn it. Jesus. 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 Okay. Dumbass. Dumbass. Okay. Who did you support in the presidential election? I support no one, bro. Do you think I, that is the correct answer? Yeah, I, I was just like neutral bro. I didn't even give a shit. I just focused on Jamali and JK Films. I forgot that the presidential election was a thing for the longest time until I looked back like, oh, that happened. So, but anyway, yeah, I don't give a shit about that. Would you have a dick as a fingers, dick as fingers, or have a micro penis on your nose? 
maybe dig his fingers because I could like penetrate everyone in the world. I'd be like, yo, I could penetrate you, I could finger you, but I have a dick, so I can do that. <laughs> it's called superpower, man. Imagination, baby. I mean, that'd be really weird though. That's fucking weird, but my mind thinks of that. And that's why I think so. I probably choose that. <laughs> so next question, it's from this person, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but I'll just put it up on display. Um, question is, when you just say hi to someone, but they, but they kind of see a whole future with you. Huh. I mean, I think it really depends on who the person is. If it's like a really cute person, a really cute girl, who gives out, who I click with, maybe. But if it's someone like really weird, gives me from suck- Girl. Man, shut the fuck up. Okay. Okay. Why are you swearing? Because this is Jomalia. I can swear. Okay. I know. I'm sorry, Buddha. My bad. Yeah, it just really depends, to be honest. And okay, Brandon is back with another question again. Oh my God, he's presenting. More. Oh my fucking God, Brandon. Why are you going so? Fuck you, machine gun. These questions, bro. What the fuck is this shit? I don't give a shit. Fucker! What's the weirdest sexual kink that you have? I fuck. That's that's a good question, man. My friends asked me that before. I don't think I really have any kinks to be honest. I'm just pretty. I'm pretty vanilla when it comes to that, like, like ass and titties. So, I guess I like girls with like somewhat long tongues. Like when I watch porn, I see girls like French kissing. Like, oh shit, she got a long ass tongue. Damn, that's how it's sexy. I guess that's the closest thing I have to a kink. Uh, what genre of porn is your favorite? To be honest, it's lesbian porn. I mean, what? that's pretty vanilla for a guy. What do you expect? For a heterosexual dude, that's pretty general. On average, how many coffee cups do you drink in a week? I don't really drink coffee, but in my last week at the dorms, I started drinking a lot of coffee. And I drank like four or five cups in that week. I drink like a bunch of mocha frappuccinos, so. But they make me shit a lot, so. Yeah, coffee makes me shit a ton. Uh, do you have a crush? What is her name or his name? Well, I'm straight, so it's a her. I do have a crush. Do you want to say her name? I don't think I want to say her name, man. Because that'd be really awkward if she watches this. Damn. I mean, all I'm going to say is that... Um, <sighs> all I'm going to say is that she's... Um, a Jomalian? That's what I'm gonna say. That's all I'm gonna say, okay? I'm not gonna put anyone on blast here. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay? Brandon also asked, how many inches do you have? This. When it's erect, it's like this basically. That's how much I have. When it's flaccid, now it's impressive. Dylan Seto. Dylan Seto, let's go! Woo! Yes, favorite thing you've ever made. I think the favorite thing I ever made, to be honest, is um, my recent short film called Legend of the Bong Fist. I posted that sometime on Jamalia. It's on my YouTube channel at Jamling Sherpa again, if you want to take, take a look at that. It's a martial arts short film that my friend and I made. I came up with the idea to include a bong, a bong martial arts short film, like at 2 a.m. the day before we filmed it. So I think that's my favorite project that I have filmed so thus far in my journey as a filmmaker. So yeah, thank you for that dope question, Dylan. You're a beautiful bro. <laughs> and on to the next question. Jai Lin, what is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is dying early, bro. Because I, I want to fucking do all the things I want to do. I want to have sex, bro. I want to like, to be honest, get a blowjob. Um, again, I want to have sex again. And, uh, uh, I want to make my films, I want to do stuff, I want to meet Jomalians, I want to have more friends, I want to do a bunch of shit. I don't want to die early, I want to be JK, I want to work for JK, like, I don't know if I want to do that shit, bro. I don't want to die early, that, that'd be like a, that, that'd be a tragedy, bro. Alright, John Lee asks, if you could choose to have all the money in the world, but never tell anyone, and you weren't allowed to make purchases that reveal how much money you really have, would you take it, would your life change? To be honest, I would want to, but my money management's kind of shit right now, so I feel like that'd be really bad of me. So I, it would, I would be pretty easy to read and review all that shit. So in that sense, I wouldn't take it. But if that were an option, I would definitely take it. 
Okay, Brandon Ng. Brandon Ng, let's go, baby. Woo! All right, he says, envision yourself coming across the JK crew. How do you think it would go? Well, in my mind, I've always imagined me just being right, being like this right now because I can't I can't continue my fucking like fanboy boy uh boy shit like that. I mean, I don't want to come off as too strong to be honest, but I want to be as real as I can with them because they're you know we all, we all know they're real people, bro. They're, they're just like the most dope real people out there. I feel, and I just want to be I want to reciprocate the same feelings back of realness, and I just want to be like yo. I mean, I don't want to come off too strong, which tends to be my tendency sometimes when I talk about JK to anyone, basically. I might tone it down a little bit, but I don't know, maybe I might just ask some questions or just talk about how I met JK, or I mean, how I discovered JK and all that, so. I would probably be very awkward and intimidated and like, I'd probably faint if I saw them. This is real, this is real, oh shit, oh shit, Kegels, Ezekiel Kegels Anderson asks, How did you feel when you finally decided to step your feet into doing what you're doing now? Proud of you, my G. Thank you, Grandpa Kegels. Thank you, Grandpa Kegels. Um, I think I think I felt I felt good because before then I was too scared to like jump into like like doing like video work. Like I recently got my first paid gig as a freelance videographer. Sent like a I'm not a pro. I'm just more in the beginning stages of my journey here. So once I jumped in, I just jumped in. And I'm like, oh, well, I'm here. I wasn't as bad as I thought. And I feel pretty good. Like I'm actually starting to make money with that, and it's it's a it's a good feeling, man. I'm I'm actually glad I took the leap because if I never did, I wouldn't have the opportunities that I have right now. So I'm really grateful that I did that. So uh, Grandpa Kegels, thank you for that question. You are I bless you. Mario Donardi asks. Who even are you? Why would I ask you anything? And as I said that before, because my motherfucking Jamalian, bro. That's what, okay? That's some other bullshit. All right, Mario, you're not entitled to ask me any questions. So that's up to you, bro. That's up to you. Brandon Song. Woo! Brandon, let's go. Third Brandon. We got three Brandons in the house. We got French Brandon. We got Chinese Brandon. We got the the fitness brand in here. Let's go. Favorite foods to eat? Fried chicken, fried rice. Um, I like chips. To be honest, the Tim original Tim's brand Pringles. Um, yeah, that's really unhealthy. Uh, pasta, pesto, pizza, Hawaiian pizza, um, pasta with meatballs, pasta with Alfredo. Um, I like to drink. Um, Water, apple juice, orange juice, milk, you know? All the pretty regular stuff, but that, that's a good question. Suni Moet asked, your favorite snacks? Well, I kind of mentioned that already. So chips, basically my favorite snacks, like potato chips, like kettle chips, you know? That's basically like Tim's or like maybe um, Pringles. Goldfish is pretty good too, it's dope. Sin Gomez, congrats, I want to say Sin, you know? Uh, anyway, so Sony, thank you for that question. Um, Sin, I want to say congratulations to you and Paul for, you know, your coupleness, you know. Congratulations on that shit. It's it's dope to see. When I saw a video on Instagram, I'm like, oh my god, make me feel the feel the love. I feel the love in the air, baby. Woo! I feel the love. <sighs> Alright. But uh Sin, will you remember me when you're famous? Of course I will, man. Of course I will. You, all you guys, bro. I love you, bro. And then I said the same thing to Paul. I would remember all of you, bro. Like, I mean, I don't think I'd be that famous to be honest. Like, if I did, I mean, that's cool. I mean, my fame. I don't want. I don't need to be that famous to be honest. Like, I kind of expect myself to be like probably on the range of like maybe near JK, but that's pretty much it. And they're not even that famous either. So. I prefer like I don't know I, I I'm I'm pretty content with not being too famous to be honest so but of course I can remember all of you guys like why wouldn't I bro you guys are my Jamalians you guys are my family bro you guys would give me life bro fuck yeah fuck yeah well that's all the questions we have for today Brandon French Brandon my God you asked a lot of fucking questions bro now you go fucking him on this shit anyway. 
Um, I just want to say thank you guys for uh, answering uh, the Q&A uh, questions here. Um, if you want to have more of these from other Jamalis on this channel we share together, um, I shared with uh, Brandon and other Jamalis, I think, I think like John Lee too, and Dylan probably. So if you want to ask any of those questions, or any, if any of you guys want to post the Q&A, any of the Jamalians who are part of this channel collective, go ahead. We're gonna probably I, we have no plan I, we have like no plan for this channel whatsoever basically, and so far it seems the Q and A's is like the thing we're doing, and it seems to be working out pretty well. So anyway, without further ado, guys, hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe for support for your fellow Jamalians, and follow our Citizens of Jamalia Instagram account on Instagram. 